Blessings and welcome. This is a pattern disruption meditation. What we want you to do is find a comfortable place where you know you could be alone uninterrupted for the next 10 minutes so you can realize what your patterns are in order to disrupt them. So go ahead and find a quiet place. Sit in a lotus position. Close your eyes. Begin by taking a few deep breaths. What is a pattern? A pattern is something that we do over and over and over again until it becomes the norm. A pattern is a collective exposure to a certain stimuli. A pattern is a repetition of something that happens over and over and over again. Now, everything in this life is patterns. Patterns of interactions, patterns of behavior, patterns of thoughts, Patterns are everywhere, on our body, in nature, the Fibonacci demonstrates that patterns are in all there is in life. Now when we were born, The first pattern we learned was to crawl. We didn't know how to crawl at first, but we learned a new pattern. Then we slowly got up, witnessing the world around us walking, and we formed a new pattern, a walking pattern. And when we repeated that again and again and again, Suddenly we could walk. It's something that was once unfamiliar because we didn't know the pattern. Became familiar, then became second nature. Every single interaction we had when we were kids formed a pattern. Pattern deep inside of ourselves of comfort and familiarity. In these patterns we keep referring to for the rest of our lives, trying to find the sense of what home truly means for us. Now everything that we do, from tying our shoes, putting on clothes, eating, dancing, moving, breathing, Looking, seeing, hearing, everything is a pattern. And we always revert back to the old and familiar patterns because they make us feel like home. So, when somebody grew up in a household where people were yelling at each other, These people attract relationships where they hear yelling because that makes them feel like home. It's a pattern 
that they have observed over and over and over again, realizing that that was home for them. Now, we wouldn't know that a different life exists unless we can observe the patterns which we currently live in and where they stem from. This ability to recognize pattern is quite simple. It all boils down to asking yourself the question, is this something that makes me feel like home? Why am I drawn to this thing? Why am I doing this? Is this the way that I want to be? Or perhaps, do I want to be different? If we want to be different, we've got to recognize that every single thing in our lives is a pattern. And maybe some patterns no, patterns no longer serve us, but when we can recognize their source by realizing that we don't want to be that way, we don't want to be angry, we start recognizing that perhaps this isn't even our story that's replaying in our head. See, we don't know that a better life, a better relationship exists outside of ourselves because we've never been exposed to the pattern. And we haven't been exposed to that pattern because we haven't been a vibrational match with it. So in this life, we get to become a vibrational match to all the things that we desire by changing our pattern. So if there's anything that you desire to change, you first have to ask yourself, what is this pattern? Where is this coming from? And then literally write down a new story of how you want your life to be. How you want your new pattern to feel. So for example, if you find yourself angry, and snapping, making irrational decisions, then you gotta ask yourself, what is this pattern? Where is it coming from? And then you ask yourself, how do I wanna be? Do I wanna be peaceful? Okay, now what do I need to do to transmute that old pattern into the new. Can I become aware in the moment that I'm being triggered to react, recognizing that this is a pattern from the past that makes me feel like home? Can I write a new peaceful story for my life where I found the tools that help me raise my vibrations, shift from the old pattern into the new pattern. Releasing that old pattern. Because it doesn't serve. Recognizing that a new peaceful you, in order to make a new pattern, your dominant pattern and not be reactive, You've got to create a new story of the peaceful you. 
I'm so happy and grateful that today I am doing my daily rituals at the beginning of the day, elevating my vibrational state, doing my meditation, observing myself, my thoughts, getting tuned into the best version of myself in the beginning of the day. I am not the victim, I'm the victor. I recognize that my old ways is my old pattern. It's just something that I'm familiar with, but I get to create a new pattern. And I'm going to repeat this new story every day. I'm going to live into the best version of myself by becoming peaceful, by creating a brand new peaceful pattern. So that way, when I am triggered to react, I will know that this is an old pattern and I will be the awareness of the pattern and I'm not going to give it any more power. Because I was born into this time-space reality to create a new pattern for myself, for my surroundings, to feel more love. I've come here to disrupt the old pattern of the old. I recognize that there's a lot of qualities I have received from my parents and from my surroundings, and I want to create my own self, my own new self, the way that I want it, in a new pattern. So I'm going to repeat my new story every single day. Recognizing that I'm becoming more consciously aware of my old patterns before I react. So before I am reacting to somebody, somebody says, I'm going to be the observer of this anger. Recognizing that this is not me, that this is my old pattern. And I'm going to slow down. Breathe and count to ten. Then I will ask myself, how do I want to react from the peaceful state? Can I speak from love, compassion and understanding right now? Or do I need more time to digest this so I can cool off? And the same thing in relationships. If you keep attracting relationships that don't serve you, then perhaps part, part of yourself is so familiar with this pattern of anger, pain, judgments, that it feels like home. But you can create a new home. By becoming the awareness of the pattern and disrupting it. By changing the story, creating a new story and repeating it every day. By doing the daily rituals every, every single day to elevate your vibrational state. So you literally live into a new pattern, the best version of yourself. There is nothing more beautiful than realizing that everything is a pattern. And when you change yours, when you become the awareness of your old stories, your old patterns, and you create new ones, you tune and open up to the best version of yourself. More loving, more compassionate, more soulful. And when you do that, everything in your life comes with ease and grace. Because you created a new pattern. You started being kinder to yourself. You started having more compassion to yourself. You started forgiving yourself and others a little more. And you've created heaven on earth by recognizing, disrupting, and creating a new pattern.